Hi everyone, my name is Marina Moore. I'm a PhD candidate at NYU and a uh, tech lead for the CNCF Tag Security. Um, I'm Michael Lieberman. I'm CTO of, uh, and co-founder of Kusari, a software supply chain security company, and I'm also a CNCF uh, Tag Security lead. So we'll start off with a quick introduction, an introduction to what Tag Security is and what we do. So this is um, by the numbers. Um, very popular on GitHub, as well, and we're just really just a group of um, folks interested in security in the cloud native space. Everything from professionals to students to hobbyists, anyone with a little bit of time to spare who's interested in solving the problem of cloud native security. Our role is to strengthen the ecosystem, kind of advise projects, identify gaps in the current cloud native security ecosystem, and figure out how we can fill those either through chatting with other people or um, doing stuff you know, within, within the group itself. Um, we also look to engage with more communities, both with the CNCF projects, but also with external groups to see kind of everything that's happening kind of in the security space, in the cloud data space, space and where there's kind of synergy between these different groups. Um, our charter is, is listed here. It's really about the um, protection of cloud native systems, um, helping developers of the different um, CNCF projects meet security requirements and kind of working with them to figure out, you know, what's missing for them as far as tooling, as far as um, advice, um, how we can get everyone kind of on the same page about what it means to be secure in, in the cloud native space, as well and as well as providing audits for different projects. And we have some more detail about um, some of our ongoing efforts. Um, here's, here's our team. We have some, some lovely co-chairs at the top here, as well as um, a, a large number of tech leads, including the two of us. And what, what do we actually do with all those, kind of beyond all the ideas and words? Um, so this is a few of our kind of released, um, recently released, um, finished efforts. We have our flagship um, white paper, which is the Cloud Native Security White Paper. Recently-ish, like sometime last year, released version two of this white paper. Um, and we have an audio version of that white paper was also released very recently. Um, and we have translations of it in a variety of different languages and are always open to more different language translations of that paper and the different versions of it going forward. We also have a white paper about uh, soft software supply chain security. It's another big white paper that kind of helps people find the CNCF projects and other things going on in the space and kind of gives an introduction to what that space is, what the things you should know, what properties should you actually look for in a tool. Um, there's a lot of folks who are talking about this issue, but what do these different technologies actually solve and how do we put them together to really actually solve this whole software supply chain problem. And finally, there's the Cloud Native Security Controls Catalog, um, which looks a little bit more at the um, kind of some government standards and regulations around um, security and how these map to both the guidelines that we've given, the guidelines that other people have given, and some particular like applications. So how do you actually apply these things in practice? In addition, we have a lot of ongoing work. Um, this probably isn't, doesn't even cover all of it. Um, one of the big things that Tag Security does is security assessments for the various CNCF projects. These used to be a requirement for graduation and they're still used by a lot of projects during the graduation process to kind of attest to the um, you know, security and really get an outside set of eyes to work with these projects to figure out you know, what, it, what is their threat model, what are they trying to do in terms of security, and get some security folks to take a look at the project. So there's um, links on the slide to some ongoing security assessments for a bunch of projects. They're in various different states from kind of very early to pretty late in the process. We have um, cloud native um, security controls mappings. So these are um, two different projects that work kind of on the space of mapping the controls. One of them is mapping um, tools to different controls and requirements, and the other is mapping um, the cloud native white paper to um, NIST particular um, control requirements. We also have the Zero Trust white paper, um, another white paper that the group is working on to kind of look at this idea of zero trust and how does that apply to the space of cloud native. Um, Another really big one going on right now is a security assessment book that really looks at this process that the tag security has been doing for security assessments and kind of laying it out a little bit more formally in a way that other people can also use. So the folks outside of the cloud native space have looked at, you know, how can we do secure community driven security assessments like 
tag security is doing. And so this book is kind of an attempt to share our knowledge with the broader security community. Um, and there's a lot of ongoing work there, and I think they're looking for, for feedback on that issue. So if you want to chat about that, find Justin, who's up here in the front, and <laughs> he, he'd love your feedback on, on that project. Um, another kind of eternally ongoing project is a catalog of supply chain compromises. Um, the tag security maintains a list of not every, but a, um, I think a representative sample of supply chain compromises in the that relate to the cloud native space um, that we are continually updating as, as more things happen to this community. Yeah, do you have a quick, quick question? Oh yeah, so it's a supply chain compromise. That's a great question. Um, that was, sorry, the question for, for the recording. But the um, a supply chain compromise is any kind of security incident that has to do with so something between um, when the software was written and when it was actually deployed. So it's not like a bug in the code. It's, a, it's something in like the build process, the distribution process. Um, we have, there's a bunch of categories of it listed in this catalog. Um, has lots of compromises that are included. Um, the next one is a lightweight threat modeling group, um, which is kind of complementary to this idea of security assessments, but figuring out a way for projects to kind of do threat modeling in a more approachable way. Um, so that's some ongoing work. I think that the, um, we have two kind of big groups in tag security, two meeting times, I guess. One of them, the more um, European friendly group, I think has been focusing a lot on this lightweight threat modeling group. I think that might be of particular interest to, to this group. Um, of course, we always do asynchronous work as well, so everyone's welcome. And finally, of course, there's always more, always more changing. So we have a version three of the cloud native security white paper. Um, where we're collecting more ideas about things that have changed, you know, erratas, as well as um, new things to discuss in the next version of that. And I'll pass it on. Sure. Uh, and so now uh, we're going to talk a little bit, I guess, about the impacts, right, of, you know, wh how this work is, uh, what's happening, at, what are the outcomes of this work, and, um, yeah. So, um, Right, so th there's a couple of different larger sort of uh, uh, bodies of work also that we're working on, right? Like we have a Security Pals um, program, which is intended to help um, take projects through some of that initial security work. You know, so for projects where, you know, not every developer is a, a uh, security expert and how, how can we help out um, to make sure that folks are not making bad decisions early on that, that we can help steer them in the right direction. And then along with that, there's the self-assessment work that, um, as Marina had mentioned, that's trying to sort of help out with projects, especially CNCF, um, you know, projects and, and CNCF related projects to help guide them through, you know, here are the things you should be looking at when assessing your, your, the security of your project. And then there's also work to sort of uh, help review, um, uh, you know, taking the security experts within the CNCF, like at Tag Security, and linking them up with some of the projects that maybe need uh, a bit more of a rigorous review, especially projects that are very security focused or are in that critical path. Right, that could, you know, a security compromise might be a very, very big issue. Um, in addition, right, tag security is collaborating with a ton of groups uh, throughout the CNCF as well as um, in the broader open source community. So uh, there is um, uh, collaboration with the Kubernetes SIG security, which uh, I know uh, at least a few years ago, tag security also was known as SIG security, but in order to uh, disambiguate the, the uh, we, we are now called um, tag security or technical advisory group uh, security, whereas um, Kubernetes has a SIG security, which is um, a, a special interest group uh, for, for uh, Kubernetes. And you know there still is a lot of overlap, but obviously Kubernetes is such a large project, they need to have their own um, group dedicated to security as well. But there's a lot of collaboration we do to make sure that if there's interesting learnings that are coming out of Kubernetes, we can kind of pull that into the broader cloud native space. And then if there's things that we're detecting in the broader cloud native space uh, that might impact something specific to Kubernetes, we can kind of bring that along as well. There's also um, the Kubernetes Policy Working Group, which, you know, as you can imagine, a lot of elements in policy are often security-focused. Um, not all of it, but a lot of it is. And so, 
hey, there's a lot of, you know, there's the uh, cloud native security controls, there's all this uh, best practices that we have, and how can we start to codify that as a policy as well, and, and how can we get it involved there? Um, you know, we uh, we have some work that we've been doing with also the Cloud Security Alliance. Uh, that's where um, Aratna works, right? Uh, um, who is one of the co-chairs. Uh, and we also uh, do a lot of work with um, some other uh, Linux Foundation groups like um, OpenSSF, which is the uh, Open Source Security Foundation. And, um, you know, like for example, myself, I'm also part of the Salsa Steering Committee. Um, for folks who aren't aware, Salsa is just uh, uh, security levels for supply chain artifacts. And um, that's a, a, a build sort of uh, framework that, that um, uh, it's a build framework for, for guaranteeing or, or helping um, provide metadata around uh, supply chain integrity or, or the integrity of the build process right now. Um, and then there's also a supply chain working group within the OpenSSF, and there's a lot of collaboration. There's a lot of members who are participate in tag security that also participate in OpenSSF. So folks who are, you know, OpenSSF is dedicated more towards the broader community, right? Just not just cloud native, right? We're talking about legacy software and, and legacy operating systems and those sorts of things. And there's lots of shared learning. Um, and so there's a lot of collaboration on, on that front as well. And in fact, actually, one of the things that came out of the CNCF, which is the Secure Software Factory Reference Architecture, was used as the basis for what is called uh, Fresca, which is a build tool that kind of is an implementation and that uh, itself lives under the uh, OpenSSF. Um, and there's also lots of presentations that we've had within um, tag security coming from uh, other open source projects, often CNCF projects, and these have included things like uh, Cubescape, um, you know, OpenFGA, which is you know, a, a fine grain authorization um, tool, Cubewarden, which is another sort of um, uh, Access, or sorry, uh, what's it called again? Um, uh, policy uh, engine, and there's many more um, that we've uh, uh, that you know have happened in uh, the tag security meetings. Uh, so, um, just kind of going over a little bit uh, again um, about uh, the uh, security reviews. So, just as a reminder. Um, uh, the security pals, right, is is a way for us to help um, projects dip their toes into cloud native security. It's um, uh, it's a way for us to um, work with with projects that are still kind of going through um, the beginning stages. Self assessment, uh, which is a way for the sandbox projects and incubating to kind of start off, and um, the joint review is a way for uh, tag security to um, uh, work with projects through their security review process. Cool, and so where can you uh, jump in? Well, uh, we have weekly meetings, um, and actually we, the, we recently um, changed the meetings. They used to be um, 1 p.m. Eastern time, which I know is late for, for Europe, but now we have every other week uh, it is more a more European friendly time frame, and since it changes all the time, I would uh, uh, it sometimes changes. I should say it, it, it's probably best to just kind of go to the CNCF calendar. Um, but every other week is a, a European friendly um, time, and uh, it's open to you know pretty much all members who agree to abide by the code of conduct. Um, and you know we're always looking for folks, not just security experts, folks who are just interested in security, folks who are end users of security and want to better understand how they can integrate. We're looking for all sorts of folks. And um, more recently, we also introduced uh, the Tag Security Blog, where we plan to sort of have um, you know a lot more on the sort of day-to-day -day what's coming coming out of Tag Security. So big efforts are still gonna be posted on the broader CNCF blog and the CNCF announcements. But for smaller things, you know, uh, around, you know, progress that we're making on, on smaller projects or stuff that's not yet released, or even for, you know, just sort of interesting things we've discovered uh, in the CNCF, in the cloud native security space will be published on that, um, on, on that blog. 
There's also uh, ongoing right now, um, we've actually hosting the uh, first ever security village. And um, I know it's been a little hard for folks to find this year and we're hoping um, as we move forward, it'll be a little bit easier. But uh, we do have a security village talk track that's been going on and this is uh, part of it. Um, we also have an unconference, which is more of a uh, you know, impromptu kind of style talk for folks who it really gets into the nitty gritty and maybe it's not suitable for your average sort of audience who's just looking for like a 101 on getting started with policy. It's like, hey, let's 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 like dive deep into an interesting challenge I found on security. Cool. That's you know what the on conference is for, and that's kind of continuing on through tomorrow. And um, you're still feel, you feel free to submit topics to it, and you can just kind of give a talk if you're ready. And just uh, yeah, and it's okay if it's like half baked. It's it's that's kind of the the on conference style. Um, we also have a hallway track where you know if you just want to tap uh, one of us on the shoulder, like myself, Marina. Um, you know, you could just, and you want to chat about something about security, you have questions, you want to understand, you know, hey, I keep hearing about software supply chain, where do I get started, right? I have a, you know, I'm, I'm using Kubernetes, where do I get started? Well, okay, cool, you ask the question, you know, ask away, come, come uh, tap us on the shoulder. And in addition to that, there is um, the, uh, the CTF that's been going on today, um, which is, uh, it, it, um, it, that uh, is also part of, of this, um, whole thing and that's been going on uh, all day and that's a good way to sort of uh, take a look at you know what can you do to a poorly configured Kubernetes cluster what what can you what can you uh, get away with in there and um, tomorrow is the uh, the the last day of the village and you know if you're interested feel free to stop by and you know we'll, we'll um, feel free to stop by and you know we're more than interested in chatting about whatever you know uh, policy engines lots of different um, CNCF related security projects like Tuff and Intoto and and if you want to know like hey how do I get started with um, emission controllers or how do I get started with some you know one of these other things or how does this project interact with this other project we can definitely help uh, uh, help you out there and uh, yeah, and beyond that, like if you want to just sort of get more involved, um, you know, we have a Slack channel in underneath the CNCF Slack tag security. Um, there is the tag security repo. There's a bunch of issues in there. Uh, feel free to also peruse the repo. There's a lot of stuff about like the supply chain compromises and all that good stuff. We have a Twitter you can follow um, for you know updates like updates to uh, you know the um, projects that we're working on as well as um, things like that. Uh, um, I have a question. Sure. Um, actually, one second. Uh, let's get you a mic. <laughs> I don't need a mic. It's really small. Oh, well, I know. It's, it's, it's for the streamers. Oh, sorry. Uh, My question is simple. Like, there's no QR code. So do we have access to this slide deck? Because I'm trying to see if I can access it through the app, and I can't. So I'm just wondering, will we have access to the deck so that we can access the links that you included on the slide? If it's not already on there, we'll make sure it gets there in the next, uh, you know. A couple hours. Okay, and then my second question is going to be, how do you guys normally work? Like, I know you have meetings, but what do you all do in those <laughs> sure. meetings? Like, can you talk about what you actually, you know, sure. if you want to get involved, what, what are you guys working on? Where do you need help? And Sure, sure, sure. So um, let, let me go through sort of first what we normally do in the meetings, and then we can kind of go into sort of what we do um, out of band. Uh, so it, within the meetings, it's mostly just, um, it depends, right? So there are presentations of focus meetings where we might be getting a presentation from a security focused product. Uh, and by product, I mean like a project within the CNCF. Um, and so this might be, as an example, Keyverno, right, which is an emission controller. It's a policy emission controller might give a, a demo within um, uh, tag security and it's open to anybody who's just interested, right? And so tag security, the tech, the leads and the chairs help facilitate that. And then um, there are folks who are just end users who are just you know there to check it out, ask some questions. There might also be security focused folks who maybe wanna ask more security specific questions to the project, like what is your threat model and, and how are you dealing with this? Do you support this you know, encryption or whatever? Those are the sorts of things that kind of come out of those sort of meetings. In addition to that, we have a lot of um, uh, we also have a lot of those sort of projects like the white papers 
And the, the, the meetings are often um, provide a mechanism both for updates to each of those projects. And so usually we have like a round, you know, a round robin of, hey, what are the updates for each of these projects? And in certain cases where those projects don't have their own individual um, separate meetings, so a lot of those projects that we had listed, like the zero trust one and the supply chain stuff, they have separate um, working groups as well that tie back into tag security. And those subgroups will provide updates during those meetings. And in certain cases, there might be areas where there's collaboration or whatever, and then we might turn a meeting into more of a working meeting where folks can talk and collaborate and, and express criticism or, or uh, critique or, or provide additional input into something that is currently being worked on. Those are the primary ones. And then we also uh, regularly turn some of those meetings into more of a, uh, like, you know, let's go back through the issues and see, are there any issues that we should be looking at? Are there any new interesting projects that people want to create out of tag security? So often we see stuff coming from the community saying, oh, you know, I, I look through everything in CNCF and I'm not seeing something that addresses this from a security perspective. Oh, cool. Well, is it, you know, if it's a white paper or something like that, maybe tag security will get started on that. If it's something that's tied to another group, maybe let's start collaborating with that group, like app delivery or something like that. Um, and that's really kind of how it goes. And then in addition to that, we have those other subgroups like supply chain working group and, and zero trust working group where there's a bit more focus on those specific feature, you know, facets of, of uh, supply chain or sorry, uh, cloud native security. And that's kind of where, where we go through. And then out of band, a lot of folks work on those sorts of projects. So um, if it's a white paper, you know, we might have a Google Doc. And as time, you know, throughout the week between the meetings, folks are working on that Google Doc. And then they provide updates in those meetings. And, uh, and then there's all sorts of other work that's also happening out of band, like the Security Pal stuff, like somebody who's just dedicated to perhaps a project, walking them through that whole process. Um, as well as like the security assessment stuff and 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 joint review stuff, where that's where a couple of the the more um, hands-on keyboard sort of like threat modeling folks and whatever they will come in and, and help some of the uh, projects out, and that's kind of like its own you know they have a, you know their own schedule, but then the updates for those things will all have bubble back up into the main meeting. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, and uh, sorry about the, the yeah, we'll, we'll definitely upload the, the slides uh, right after this. And yeah, we have a lot of, um, you know, things. We have a, we have a Twitter, we have um, a roadmap of some of the bigger things that we're working on. Uh, there is a mailing list, um, mostly for bigger updates and those sorts of things. Um, we have the, the, there is a tag security calendar, which is on this uh, CNCF. Um, which has information about the Zoom meetings themselves and how to join them. And then we also have, uh, you know, all of the meetings um, all get recorded and they all get uploaded to, to YouTube um, a bit afterwards. So if folks are like just sort of not sure if you want to join, feel free to look at the YouTube and just see what the meeting kind of looks like. And uh, yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Uh, questions? What did you call your uh, talk entering the abyss? Like, is there a deep, dark hole that security involves that makes you very sad? Or I think that's just a clickbait title. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. And and also, it's 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 not necessarily that security is an abyss. It's perhaps the journey to security. <laughs> like, how do I get to that? Like, you know. Um, and and in addition to that, I think it's. Uh, for a lot of folks who aren't in security, we often get a bad rap of like. Oh, you're the, you're the folks I gotta deal with in order, you know, and, and hopefully through the stuff like this sort of process, um, we're hoping to demystify it and and make it uh, more friendly. <laughs>